Okay, good morning again, everyone. It is Tuesday, Tuesday, May 19th. This morning we are celebrating Tuesday of the sixth week of Easter. Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. On the third morn he rose again, glorious in majesty to reign. Oh, let us swell the joyful strain. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Good, Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Begin our celebration once again, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the grace and the peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit. Be with you all. And with your spirit. We begin our Mass this morning in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but we know we should begin all things in our lives in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And for those times that we have failed to live up to that great, great charge, great ministry, we again ask the Lord's forgiveness and mercy. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned. sinned in my, my thoughts and in, in my, my words, words, in what I have done and in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And, and therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant almighty and merciful God that we may in truth receive to a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Can anyone tell me if the sound has come on? Wait one moment before beginning the readings. Okay, uh, for those who don't have the sound, they can watch it after, uh, after Mass. They won't be able to hear me saying this, so I just wanted to check uh, with everybody before we continued. Sorry for the interruption. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magis magistrates had, him, had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet in a stake. At midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook and the doors flew open and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, mistaking that the, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, do no harm to yourself, we are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, 
and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them in at that hour of the night and bathed their wounds. And then he and his fam all his family were baptized at once. He brought those up into the house and provided a meal. And with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Our response this morning to God's word is, your right hand serves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give to you, O God, O Lord, with all my heart. For you have heard the words of my mouth, the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your, your right, right hand saves me, O Lord. Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things. You name your name and your promises. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your, your right, right hand, hand saves, saves me, me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asked me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has Okay, sorry about the technical delays today, everyone. So hopefully this will work and keep everybody here. All right, we can continue. Thank you for helping helping it make making it happen, Bill. Got it. Uh, again, we are uh, hearing these absolutely incredible exploits of Paul and this time with Silas, his friend, his companion, uh, beaten. And by the way, to beat him was illegal because he was a Roman citizen. And later on, they would apologize to him for that. But in the meantime, he was beaten and thrown into prison along with, with Silas. But no matter what happened to him, and we've heard many stories the past couple of weeks of what happened to Paul. They would beat him, they would stone him, they would condemn him, they would yell at him, all kinds of things never stopped him. He just kept going and became stronger, actually, more determined, I think, than ever. It's a wonderful example of <clears throat> what the Holy Spirit can really do for us, give us that courage and determination to continue on in spite of what may be going on in our lives or going on in our world, as a lot of things are going on in our world right now, but he was very strong. He also said that, <clears throat> Jesus said at the Last Supper, we're kind of going back and forth here, now we're back to the Last Supper with the Gospel, but he said, I want to send you the Advocate, <clears throat> the Advocate, the one who will speak on my behalf. And I, I think there are a lot of reasons why we can rejoice in the fact that the Holy Spirit was sent and is a part of our lives. But one is that as Jesus was on earth, that Jesus the Messiah in flesh on earth, he was confined to space and time, lived in only in there. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, will make his, his message not confined to space and time anymore. It will go out through the entire world and, uh, and will last forever. And if you look at the history of the church, we have many great people, wonderful saints, wonderful spiritual writers and models and everything. But we've also had our scoundrels as well, as we all know from history, the history of the church. And, uh, <clears throat> but even, even they could not stop it. It continued on. Here we are, 2020 in Manicook, Pennsylvania, still preaching the word of God. It's an amazing story. And it certainly uh, makes us very confident during these times of great challenge, what we have today, probably one of the greatest challenges we've had in our lifetimes in many ways because of the uh, 
implications of the coronavirus. But we're still here. A little technical glitches once in a while, but we're still here and we're going to continue to be here. And someday, someday, this Holy Spirit will renew us and this church that I'm looking at empty all out right now almost uh, will be filled with people once again. Can't stop the Spirit. And for that, we give thanks. <clears throat> So let's continue our prayer for each other this morning. We pray for the one who by the Spirit <clears throat> was chosen to be the successor of Peter at our time of life, and that is our Holy Father, Pope Francis. So let's continue to pray for him that his, he will continue to receive health and strength to continue his great ministry in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us give thanks for one of his predecessors who celebrated Yesterday was it, I think, the 100th birthday of Pope St. John Paul II. We pray to the Lord in thanksgiving for having had this, this wonderful man leading our church for so many years and now a saint with the communion of saints. We pray to the Lord. And Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for, uh, pray for our bishop, Bishop Bambera, who is in the process now of making assignments, pastoral assignments, that he too will be as always, guided by the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for our three deacon, deacons who will be uh, ordained to the priesthood of Jesus Christ at the end of June, that they will have many years of faithful service to the people of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for the parishes of our diocese, some of which will be undergoing transitions and changes, and it's always a challenge, but that they will too be healed and renewed and encouraged by the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Again, we unfortunately have to continue to say this, but um, let's pray for all those who have died yesterday in the coronavirus, those who will die today, and those who will die tomorrow, We're up to 90,000 or more at the moment in our own country. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for other countries, some of whom are countries of uh, the third world or experiencing poverty to start out with and then on top of this they are suffering grievously pray for the navajo nation of our own country uh suffering so much they are the native americans that we will keep them in our prayer and our help we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer and let's pause now for our own intentions we pray to the lord Lord, hear our prayer. And as always, we continue to ask Mary's intercession. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary full, full of grace, grace. The, the Lord, Lord is with, with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> and by the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who has humbled himself to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And now pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. <clears throat> Grant we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight by these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but at this time above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of life rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and his rising is the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. <clears throat> Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You have set us free. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. <clears throat> Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. <clears throat> Together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, all the religious and clergy. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the, resur the resurrection. And this morning we remember John Archytas and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Faustina, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now at the Savior's <clears throat> command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's now share Christ's peace with one another. Peace. peace, Father. And peace to everyone who is watching at home as well. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my, my roof, roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. The Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Look beyond the bread you eat. See your Savior and your Lord. Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out as blood. Give us a sign that we might believe in you. Moses brought us manna from the sky. Look beyond the bread you eat. See your Savior and your Lord. Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out as blood. <clears throat> In our act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and you unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our life, our sweetness here below, O Maria, our hope in sorrow and in woe, O Maria, triumph all ye cherubim, sing with the sea seraphim, Heaven and earth resound the hymn. Salve, 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 Regina. Our prayer to Saint Michael. <clears throat> Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Again, have a good day and stay safe. You too, Father. Thank you. Jesus Christ is risen today, ha 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 hallelujah. Our triumphant holy day, ha 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 hallelujah. Who did once upon a cross, ha 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 hallelujah. Suffer to redeem our loss. Hallelujah. Thank you, everyone, for joining us uh, for Mass this morning. I know uh, there seem to be some problems. We had some problems here with the connection at the church. Um, why the sound was disappearing on some of you, I have no idea. If that happens again, what you're going to do is you're going to close the Facebook app that's on your iPad or iPhone, double-click the home button or whatever it's called on the Android, and it'll give you the option to swipe it away and close it. And you restart it and rejoin the Mass if that happens again. Um, again, uh, sorry for the technical glitches. We are working to hopefully get a better uh, signal here in the church. So hopefully that will improve some things over the next week or so. Um, in the meantime, just keep in there with us. If it's cutting up too much for you that you can't watch it live, uh, just wait a little while or back up a few minutes in the Mass and it should let you watch it fine. Um, you should be okay from there. So thank you everybody for joining with us today. Uh, we will, we will not be here tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. On Wednesdays, we have 6 p.m. Eastern Mass. And on Thursday, remember, we do not have 8 a.m. Mass. We're going to have 10 a.m. Mass for the Ascension of the Lord. So everyone take care. Stay safe. Happy Easter. He is risen. Alleluia.